You're telling me this supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Hell, so respect. Don, you said you knew this guy. I said I knew of him. Welcome back. Now, you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? Because I happen to be looking for one. You know your kind ain't welcome here. Well, maybe not. But I'm gonna make myself welcome. How long since you first started wastelanding? A long time. This son of a bitch right here used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Kids these days don't know their goddamn history. What are you? Oh, I'm you, sweetie. You just give it a little time. Now, I've waited over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where's my fucking family? You're still looking for her. You got a hole in your neck. To the future. To the future. Why are you doing this? Well, I ain't torturing you, sweetheart. War never changes. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. There's always somebody behind the wheel. And that's who I want to talk to. That's where your daddy is headed. What about using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier? Using illegal immigrants? We could pump psychotropic drugs into the air supply. We could separate parents and children, and only the smartest kids reach adulthood. A good bad guy doesn't see themselves as a bad guy. America has been locked in a resource war for over a decade. Vault Tech bought the means to end that war, the same war you fought in. How can you guarantee results? You want me to spy on my wife? <laughs> By dropping the bomb ourselves. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, they told us to hold up your thumb just like this. 